I'll be remembered probably you But McDonald's the baddest that I would turn to CEO with the shit that's a dumb motherfucker You always win There's no going on at the top of the crown Resting on his head The beast is alive He'll never be dead If you dreamt before Bring it back to life Push harder for it Let us survive Show courage and strength It's okay to be scared But don't let it stop You always stay prepared Bill show my school They're just not beginning Winners fucking win Losers talk about winning Welcome to the Bearded Beast Show. My name is Bill, and I am the Bearded Beast. In case you are a first-time listener, make sure you go to www.beardedbeastshow.com and check out all the episodes. You can access all the old episodes and the new episodes there. Okay, I've gotten some questions from some listeners. The questions are about the podcast, and they don't have a business, so they don't believe they are a CEO. But here's my answer to that. I'm here to tell you that this podcast is here to help you understand that you are the CEO of your life. This is about you taking control, no excuses, no sugarcoating, no bullshit, no holds barred, and you take responsibility for your life. Even if you're not an entrepreneur and you're not sure if you should be listening to the show, understand this, you are a entrepreneur. You are the entrepreneur of you. And the way society is going and the way the world is going, if you don't take control of yourself and your own personal brand, then I would say, quite frankly, you're not going to accomplish shit. Let's talk about a little story. And the little story is about a baby elephant. When an elephant is a baby, it can be restrained with a small stake in the ground and a piece of twine. The little baby elephant is so weak that it fights, it struggles, it tugs, but it can't pull the stake out of the ground because it doesn't have the strength. It's just a little baby. Eventually, it just accepts that there is no point in fighting anymore, and it just quits. So there it is, this little baby elephant, a small stake in the ground, and some twine. But let me ask you this. Does the elephant stay a baby forever? Hell no. We know it doesn't. It grows into this massive, powerful, super strong beast of an animal that could easily escape the stake and the piece of twine. But it doesn't. It doesn't fight. It doesn't struggle. It doesn't tug on the rope, which we know it could easily pull out of the ground. Why doesn't it tug on the rope? It's a massive beast that could easily escape. But guess what? It doesn't know that. You know why it doesn't know that? Because it has accepted that the stake and the rope has control over it. It has accepted its limits. And let me tell you, Why this is a huge problem. The problem is most people become just like the little elephant. At a very young age, when we are really, really young, people tell us, you can be whatever you want to be. 
You can be this. You can be that. But do you know what happens the first day we go to school? Our teachers, other kids, our peers, they laugh at us. And they say, oh, be realistic. And our limits start to form. We act just like the baby elephant. And we start to believe that we have a stake and a rope tied around us. We accept limits. We accept things that aren't true. And the rope and the stake are metaphors for the cage that we build around ourselves. But what you must understand All those things are imaginary. These limitations that you feel, they are not reality. You have accepted the limits. You've accepted the limits that society and other people have imposed upon you. And you built walls around yourself based on these opinions. And a lot of people can never look at themselves in the mirror and realize they built these walls around themselves. Instead, they go through life thinking they just weren't meant for that kind of life. They just weren't meant to be great. They were just meant to be average. They were meant to be the average regular worker bee. Bullshit. Nobody listening to this was meant to be average. If you are living an average life right now, at some point in your life, you were molded, you were convinced, and you just accepted that you were an average person. And yeah, that was my dog barking, so he must agree with what I'm saying. But my point is, I'm not sitting here and saying, oh, well, fuck you, you're average. But if you're listening to my podcast, then you're probably someone who wants to improve. You're probably someone who wants to have more. You're probably someone who wants to be a beast in life and attack the shit out of life with reckless abandon and become successful in any way fucking possible. And you can't do that when you're letting yourself be limited by a little bitty steak and a piece of twine that you have perceived has control over you. You don't have limits. What you do have is excuses. Your life isn't predetermined. The excuses that you make on a daily basis is what creates your cage that you live in. A cage that is created by imaginary thoughts in your brain based on your environment and your own willingness to test the fucking waters and to fight and do the fucking work required to build the life that you want. And there is nothing more weak, there is nothing more sad than letting imaginary thoughts keep you from building the life that you want for yourself. The poor little baby elephant is stuck. Are you stuck? If you're stuck, you better get unstuck and understand we are here to die with memories and not dreams. I'll be remembered, but with you, but McDonald's the baddest that I would turn to. CEO with the shit that's a dumb motherfucker. You always win. There's no going under the top of the crown, resting on his head. The beast is alive, he'll never be dead. If he tried before, bring it back to life. Push harder for it. Let us survive, show courage and strength. It's okay to be scared, but don't let it stop you. Always stay prepared. Bill, show my school, they're just not beginning. Winners fucking win, losers talk about winning.